coronavirus cases rise, the job of contacting and isolating people who test positive and all their contacts is proving challenging. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart explains. Thousands of people are getting tested in New Mexico each day for COVID-19. And when someone tests positive, the state first assigns a case investigator to contact that person, making sure they're self-isolating and have support. Then a contact tracer works to get a hold of everyone that person came into contact with and could have spread the virus to. We're doing a good job. It's a hard job, though because not everybody wants to be called by the government about a test result. Human Services Secretary Dr. David Grace explains that's only the beginning. Not everyone is answering their phones. Contact tracers in New Mexico are getting a hold of people roughly 81 percent of the time. Hello. Right now it's taking roughly 26 hours to contact and isolate the person who tests positive and roughly 47 hours to quarantine their contacts. The goal is to lower those times. It's not something that we normally think of as part of our day to day life, getting called up and, you know, having strangers tell us that we need to stay home for for two weeks. As the state continues to boost the program, for now, New Mexico is reporting a higher success rate with contact tracing than some states. You know, Massachusetts, you mentioned, you know, they're getting a hold of people about 60 percent of the time. I think New York was 42 percent. Louisiana, 48 percent. New Mexico is 81 percent. Keeping people safe and minimizing spread is the shared goal. Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. Contact tracers can also run into challenges when it comes to privacy concerns and people not wanting to share personal information. Now, the Department of Health says it is hiring new contact tracers every week. We'll have much more from the governor's press conference coming up in our next half hour.